Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager, FRM. Part 1 of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use. Interest Rates Futures. Welcome to the 29th session in your preparation for the FRM Part 1 exam. Before proceeding for this session, we recommend that you have a strong understanding of futures concepts and its pricing as discussed in previous sessions. Until now, we have discussed stock, currency and commodity futures. In this session, we will introduce you to the concept of interest rate futures or the bond futures. Before we proceed to the bond futures, we will first give some important insights into bonds, its cash price and accrued interest. The topic is important from an examination point of view and a few questions can be expected from this section. Mostly the questions will test your grasp of the concepts and will require simple calculations. Agenda The prime agenda of our discussion will be interest rate futures or bond futures. We will begin our session by learning some basic concepts of bond and T-bill prices and the day count conventions used for calculations. We will then introduce the concept of cheapest to deliver bonds, that is the bonds which are most profitable to deliver for the short seller of futures. We will also learn how to calculate the cash price of futures contract from the time value of money concept from the previous session. We will then learn about Euro-Dollar futures, which are basically futures on the rate earned by dollar deposits outside the USA, and how they are used to lock into the short-term 90-day LIBOR, or the London Interbank Rate, that is, the rate at which banks lend money. We will briefly see the convexity adjustment that is applied to Euro-Dollar futures, and see how they can be used to extend the LIBOR zero curve. We will end the session by discussing duration-based hedging. T-bonds, T-bills. Let us begin our session. First, let us learn more about the bonds we introduced earlier. We know that bonds pay a fixed amount of interest on your investment. The fixed return is either in the form of a lower price of bond while purchasing and getting a par value at maturity that is, zero coupon bonds, or 